Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to have you here. If you are new, welcome. My name is Tiffany and I upload a new homemaking video every Sunday. Now today I am so excited because I'm going to be showing you how to make two of my favorite cocktails and also a super simple, couldn't be easier mocktail for you to have on Valentine's Day. The two cocktails I'm going to do are both variations of a cosmopolitan but with a little different twist so let's go and we'll make some awesome cocktails together the first cocktail we're going to make is a blood orange cosmo i love this drink it's awesome so start out by chilling your martini glass you can either pop it in the freezer or you can fill it up with some ice water while you're mixing your drink like i am here now it's time to put some ice into your shaker and pick out your vodka. I'm going with Grey Goose today. I was talking with someone at a party, I think last weekend, and they were talking about how smooth Grey Goose was and I just wanted to revisit it to find out for myself. So let me know what your favorite uh, vodka is in the comments. I'd love to hear about it and perhaps try some new ones out. Once you've added your two ounces of vodka, go ahead and add one ounce of triple sec. You can also use Cointreau if you feel like being a little extra fancy, but that does make your drink stronger, FYI. Now it's time for a splash of cranberry juice. We are not doing away with the cranberry just because we are making a blood orange Cosmo. It's still a Cosmo, it's just a Cosmo plus the secret ingredient, which is a blood orange. So go ahead and cut it in half and only juice half of it. That's plenty for this drink. I love these blood oranges because they fit in my little hand juicer, it makes it so easy. And just to finish it off, I'm going to put a little squeeze of lemon. Now I did not squeeze that whole half in, I just squeezed a little bit, so don't get carried away because lemon gets overpowering quickly. All you gotta do now is shake, dump your ice water if you're chilling it that way, and pour your drink out. I garnished it today with a lemon wheel because I love the contrast of the red and the yellow but you can also garnish with a blood orange wheel if you'd like. And bottoms up, friends. That is a delicious drink right there. The next cocktail I'm going to make is a strawberry lemonade martini. So prep your martini glass the same way you did for the first one. And steps one and two for this cocktail are the same. So the vodka, the two ounces of vodka is the same and also the triple sec is the same. Now, instead of the cranberry and the blood orange, you're going to add a pretty generous splash of strawberry lemonade. Shake and pour this treat into your chilled glass. Now, I chose to garnish this with both a lemon and a strawberry because I was feeling fancy. Isn't that pretty? It looks like, it reminds me of a starburst. It tastes better than a Starburst though. It's really good. It's strong, so be careful. If you'd like to make this into a, like more of a cocktail and less of a martini, you just add more strawberry lemonade and maybe some club soda if you want it to be like a little less sweet. So, bottoms up. Now really quickly here at the end, I'm just gonna show you a couple of mocktails that I really like for Valentine's Day. So I love to do ginger ale, and you can use a fancy glass, definitely that's super important. A uh, fancy glass with a little bit of ginger ale, and all you do is put like put a little splash of cranberry into the ginger ale. It's so yummy. And then also another one is a little version of a Shirley Temple. And this little version of a Shirley Temple is a little bit fancy, and it's an Amarena cherry. And I, what I'm gonna do here is just get my cherry ready and add seven up. And then make sure you have your soda chill because if you want it in a fancy glass like this, there's not a lot of room. There's not really room for ice, but. And you have a little bit of a classier version of a Shirley Temple, and it looks really pretty. Cheers, friends.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've been enjoying my channel. If you have been, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I hope you spend Valentine's Day with people you love a lot and you make it kind of a special day to cheer you up in the middle of the winter. Have a great day, friends. Bye for now.